Welcome back, troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglies Guitar Show. Today we're going to talk about the new Squire Paranormal series that they've just launched. So this lineup was actually loosely leaked by Guitar Center early on this year, and we didn't hear anything about them at NAMM, so we kind of figured they would be a summer NAMM thing, but you know, with that being cancelled, it looks like they're still going to go ahead and release these for this summer. And since I have no intentions of reviewing absolutely every single one of these, I figured we'd go ahead and take a look at these today. And if you happen to be captivated by any of these, I do have my new Guitar Day program. Let's go ahead and get into these. So first off, we have the Squire Paranormal Cyclone electric guitar. So a Cyclone is nothing new. If we go to Reverb right now and type in Fender Cyclone, you're going to see these things from the early 2000s. It looks like that one had a humbucker and a single coil configuration. That one's just a humbucker. Ooh, would you look at this one? It's got a competition stripe. Yeah, so that looks pretty similar, but you're going to notice this price tag. Yeah, that's going to be very detrimental to somebody who's a little bit more price sensitive. I mean, even these cheaper ones are around 700 bucks. Oh, and it looks like Squire's actually already done this before, but in a slightly different configuration. So no, this one's not the most exciting of the series, but we have some new colors and a really cool layout here. So we get Daphne Blue and a Shell Pink. You know, that's kind of quirky. I like it. I think if I had to choose between the two for myself, though, I would go Daphne. But it looks like our body shape comes from a Mustang, and then we get Stratocaster style pickups right there, but then we get a Jaguar style switching system, so then just a master volume, master tone. So at $3.99, if you just want something a little bit quirky, I guess I could see how this one might appeal to someone. And as far as the specs on the Cyclone, yep, Poplar body, pretty much all the regular stuff. Our next one is actually the cheapest of the lot, and I'm surprised it's this inexpensive. The Squire Paranormal Toronado. So this guy's only $349.99, whereas everything else in this series is $50 higher. This one kind of has a, a similar story to it as our last one. Where in the early 2000s, Fender did something very similar. It looks like most of these on the used market are around 700 bucks. Man, that is freaky. <laughs> I didn't know about the special edition one before. Let's see, has Squire done one? It looks like it's just the pre-order, so this might be a new price point for this particular one. Cool, but it looks like we can choose between black and Lake Placid blue. I really like that blue one. Not a huge fan of the black, but I guess it depends on what vibe you're going for. But these were initially introduced in the late 90s. I've never actually got to play one before. It's kind of like a, a jazz master meets a, a squished down body, I guess you could say. As far as specs go on this Tornado, it looks like poplar body, gloss finish. All right, that's about standard. Maple sea neck, Indian laurel fretboard, that's to be expected. All the pretty much good stuff here that we're used to. And we've got the Squire Atomic Humbuckers. Now moving on to the Offset Telecaster. Now this is one I think is going to get people excited because these used to only be really expensive stuff, but people kind of like these Offset Telecasters. I actually did do a review on one of these before. And that's pretty much what all the comments in the comments section were saying. It's like, ah, oh, I love it, but it's just a little bit too expensive. So the fact that they finally brought this out in a cheaper variant is going to make people really happy. So it's kind of like a, a Jazz Master mixed with a Telecaster. It, uh, it's not my favorite in the world, but you know, it's out there and now for 400 bucks, people are gonna like it. I really like that natural finish, but the wood grain is gonna vary on everything. But it looks like we can also get surf green here. As far as our specs go on this one, I've never heard of this wood before. Okumi? Okume, however it's pronounced, that's interesting, that's for sure. But everything else is looking pretty basic right here. Looks like we've got a full gloss finish on these necks. But what are our pickups? Looks like just standard Fender designed Alnico single coil pickups. The Supersonic is kind of interesting. It's another one of the ones that's slightly cheaper. The fact that it's kind of like a reversed body style of some of the others that we've seen it's kind of interesting. Graphite metallic, that's a cool color. I bet it would look a lot better in person, have a little bit of a sparkly sheen to it. And we also have ice blue metallic. This guitar just looks so strange. It's completely backwards, but your tremolo is on the correct side. All your other controls are kind of like a Les Paul. I mean, you couldn't really play it as a lefty because your controls will all be in the way right there. The neck plate is really strange on this one though. I've never seen the backside of that. So two small bolts that almost looks like it has your uh, strap button built into it as well. I like that. That's kind of cool. So I guess I wouldn't be opposed to checking one of those things out. This is another one that I think is really interesting. So a paranormal jazz bass. 
but it's got that large style pick guard. I don't know, something about this just kind of speaks to me. At $3.99, that's a pretty good price. You can choose between butterscotch blonde and white blonde. That's a tough choice. Do you want like the kind of aged looking one or do you want the brand newish kind of white one? I don't think you could really go wrong with either of those because you still get to see the wood grain underneath. And the specs of this thing are kind of interesting. So poplar body with ash top and back. I mean, weren't they just saying that they weren't going to use ash on anything? So is it like a, a veneer or do they build them differently? I'm not too familiar with this model. Yeah, that's how I would personally interpret that. So in order to get that beautiful wood grain, they just did a light veneer. I think that seals the deal that I need to review one of these because I'm going to have to tear that apart to see if that's true. And now we move into my favorite ones. So right here, remember how I fell in love with those jazz tellies? This is essentially one of those guys, but mixed with a Cabernita and a Thinline Telecaster. This thing has me excited. You know, 400 bucks, I'm interested to see how good this one will be. What kind of pickups are they putting in here? Fender Design Jazz Masters. Put some pure vintage 65s in here and you're going to have an awesome guitar. I don't know, you might need to upgrade the electronics on these guys. Oh, I like the fact that it's a string through hardtail version too. That's nice. Looks like we got individual saddles. I'm... I don't understand why the toggle switch is all the way down there though. This Cabernita Telly, it looks like, yeah, that one's got a poplar body. Pretty basic stuff here as well. I think this one's gonna be a hot seller, but I've saved the absolute best one for last. Buy these now. These Squires that are baritones, extended scale length, as soon as they're out of production, they always inflate in price like crazy. So if you're interested in a cheap baritone, I definitely suggest grabbing one of these. So it's kind of like the one we were just looking at, except for it's baritone now and it's not semi-hollow. And instead of the Jazzmaster pickups, we get the P90. So one thousand percent yes we will be seeing a review and demo on this one i actually reached out to fender to see if they would like to sponsor this and maybe even do a giveaway of one of these for one lucky winner we'll have to wait to see if they're interested in doing a collaboration like that again because i feel that went pretty well last time with the fender lead series but this guy is 27 inch scale length so that means same scale length as the bucket head last paul Man, that'd be a lot of fun to convert this to like a buckethead guitar. What are our color options? Just black on this guy. That's a little bit of a letdown. Everything else gets about two options. It's kind of sad that these Capernita styles didn't get the TV Jones pickups though. Because Capernita tellies, I've only had one parts caster, but that thing was fantastic. I'll always remember the way that that guitar played. It wasn't necessarily my favorite cosmetically. And for the baritones, it looks like we got the poplar body on this one. And everything else, you know, pretty standard specs here. But there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven new guitars from Fender. So as I said earlier, I'm gonna buy probably most of these, at least do an unboxing episode on them just to, you know, see how they feel in person. But as far as the review pieces, the things that I'm actually interested in, I might check out the bass for that, at least the baritone telly. And I'm sure people wouldn't mind seeing me do the offset telecasters. So yeah, basically just the telecasters, maybe even the cyclone if you guys want me to. In other Squire news, instead of mini Stratocasters, we now have these mini tiny little Jazz Masters with humbucker pickups in them. Like, I think it would have been better if they would have just left regular Jazz Master style pickups in them, but you know, they're kind of cool and quirky for 150 bucks if you love the Jazz Master. I think I'll leave this one alone though. <laughs> Definitely let me know down in the comment section which one of this new series that you like the best. I think these are some pretty attractive price points that pretty much everybody can get into for the most part, but the baritone is the true winner for me. All right, thank you Troglodytes for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.